and welcome to WISIS Forum 2022 here in Geneva. And with me is Nisa Purcell, who is CEO of the Office of the Regulator in Samoa. Welcome. How are you enjoying the forum so far? I'm enjoying it very much. The amazing thing uh, for me is having a lot of uh, decision makers like ministers uh, who are participating. And uh, it's very important for us that uh, we understand what other countries are doing in terms of developing uh, or reforming telecommunications and uh, in particular, um, the innovative ways that they, are, that they are using now to make sure that uh, coverage is improved and to make sure that the quality of service is there because I believe there is no point having 100% coverage and people can't even use the internet. The quality of service is poor. And also it's our opportunity to highlight the challenges that we are facing because I believe in not reinventing the wheel. Some countries may have already experienced the issues that we, are, we may be facing. And uh, so the answer is there. So um, WISIS is an excellent uh, program. And it, what are the specific challenges that Samoa faces in um, using information and communication technology to meet those sustainable development goals of the UN? The main challenge is our remoteness from the race, rest of the world. So um, we are floating over a huge ocean. Um, so that alone have its own, um, has uh, its own issues. And then uh, the, the skills of people on using the uh, modern technology. So we may be trying to say, hey, these are smartphones, you can do this and that. And then again, the affordability um, mm. of, of people, of the handsets especially, and then um, the, now and then, quality of service. But we are working very, very well with the um, service providers so that we can uh, collaborate and make sure we provide the, what they need and then they provide the people of Samoa with the quality of service that uh, that they need. I suppose as, as a remote nation, you have perhaps, you have these significant challenges, but also so much to gain from increased connectivity through use of ICTs. Oh yes, of course, um, especially with the pandemic. Mm. So um, a lot of the, the, the way we communicate do work, do business, we're all done online. So what we do is uh, we look at the um, an enabling environment mm. so that uh, connectivity can be meaningful. Connectivity is using the right technologies. And uh, because I believe an enabling environment is the uh, precursor to um, true, uh, and meaningful uh, connectivity. It's a, it's a new world, isn't it, that we're all getting used to after the pandemic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.